The Safavids, Ismail conquers Persia. The Safavid military became a force to mass learned. From the Safavids' defeat at Calderon, he adopted the use of artillery with his military forces. He expanded the Safavid Empire up to the Caucasus Mountains, northeast of Turkey, and brought Christians under Safavid rule. Tomasp laid the groundwork for the Golden Age of the Safavids. A Safavid Golden Age Shah Abbas, or Abbas the Great, took the throne in 1587. He helped create a Safavid culture and Golden Age that drew from the best of the Ottoman, Persian, and Arab worlds. Shah Abbas reformed aspects of both military and civilian life. He limited the power of the military and created two new armies that would be loyal to him alone. One of these was an army of Persians. The other was a force that Abbas recruited from the Christian north and modeled after the Ottoman Genissaries. He equipped both of these armies with modern artillery. Abbas also reformed his government. He punished corruption severely and promoted only officials who proved their competence and loyalty. He hired foreigners from neighboring countries to fill positions in the government. To convince European merchants that his empire was tolerant of other religions, Abbas brought members of Christian religious orders into the empire. As a result, Europeans moved into the land. Then industry, trade, and art exchanges grew between the empire and European nations. A new capital The Shah built a new capital at Esfahan. With a design that covered four and a half miles, the city was considered one of the most beautiful in the world. It was a showplace for the many artisans, both foreign and Safavid, who worked on the buildings and the objects in them. For example, 300 Chinese potters produced glazed building tiles for the buildings in the city, and Armenians wove carpets. Artworks Shah Abbas brought hundreds of Chinese artisans to Esfahan. Working with Safavid artists, they produced intricate metalwork, miniature paintings, calligraphy, glasswork, tile work, and pottery. This collaboration gave rise to artwork that blended Chinese and Persian ideas. These decorations beautified the many mosques, palaces, and marketplaces. The most important result of Western influence on the Safavids, however, may have been the demand for Persian carpets. This demand helped change carpet weaving from a local craft to a national. Industry In the beginning, the carpets reflected traditional Persian themes. As the Empire became more culturally blended, the designs incorporated new themes. In the 16th century, Shah Abbas sent artists to Italy to study under the Renaissance artist Raphael. Rugs then began to reflect European designs. The, the dynasty declines quickly in finding a successor, Shah Abbas made the same mistake the Ottoman monarch Suleiman made. He killed or blinded his ablest sons. His incompetent grandson, Safi, succeeded Abbas. This pampered young prince led the Safavids down the same road to decline that the Ottomans had taken, only more quickly. In 1736, however, Nadir Shah Afshar conquered land all the way to India and created an expanded empire. But Nadir Shah was so cruel that one of his own troops assassinated him. With Nadir Shah's death in 1747, the Safavid Empire fell apart. At the same time that the Safavids flourished, cultural blending and conquest led to the growth of a new empire in India. Patterns of Cultural Blending each time a culture interacts with another, it is exposed to ideas, technologies, foods, and ways of life not exactly like its own. Continental crossroads, trade routes, ports, and the borders of countries are places where cultural blending commonly begins. Societies that are able to benefit from cultural blending are those that are open to new ways and are willing to adapt and change. The blended ideas spread throughout the culture and produce a new pattern of behavior. Cultural blending has several basic causes. 
Causes of cultural blending Cultural change is most often prompted by one or more of the following four activities, migration, pursuit of religious freedom or conversion to trade conquest the blending that contributed to the culture of the Ottomans, which you just read about in section 1, depended on some of these activities. Surrounded by the peoples of Byzantium, the Turks were motivated to win territory for their empire. The Ottoman Empire's location on a major trading route created many opportunities for contact with different cultures. Suleiman's interest in learning and culture prompted him to bring the best foreign artists and scholars to his court. They brought new ideas about art, literature, and learning to the empire. Results of cultural blending Cultural blending may lead to changes in language, religion, styles of government, the use of technology, and military tactics. These changes often reflect unique aspects of several cultures. For example, language sometimes the written characters of one language are used in another, as in the case of written Chinese characters used in the Japanese language. In the Safavid Empire, the language spoken was Persian. But after the area converted to Islam, a significant number of Arabic words appeared in the Persian language. Religion and ethical systems Buddhism spread throughout Asia. Yet the Buddhism practiced by Tibetans is different from Japanese Zen Buddhism. Styles of government The concept of a democratic government spread to many areas of the globe. Although the basic principles are similar, it is not practiced exactly the same way in each country. Racial or ethnic blending One example is the mestizo, people of mixed European and Indian ancestry who live in Mexico. Arts and architecture Cultural styles may be incorporated or adapted into art or architecture. For example, Chinese artistic elements are found in Safavid Empire tiles and carpets as well as in European paintings.